Watching Discovery's Gold Rush will show you that mining is often done with family. Given that this has traditionally been a family business, a lot of individuals choose to work in this field. The story of Gold Rush star Parker Schnabel, whose father Roger Schnabel hasn't been on the program much since its second season, best illustrates this. Todd Hoffman is another. He was encouraged to follow the profession by his father and will soon be a cast member of the available reality series, Hoffman Family Gold. Tony Beats, the Klondike King, finds himself in a similar situation. He showed his commitment to his family, as shown in the episode, by preparing his daughter Monica and son Kevin for a life of mining from an early age. His children have continued the family tradition in his footsteps. And based on appearances, his son Kevin could soon be getting married. It's clear from looking through his social media accounts that Kevin Beats would want to keep his private life hidden. Although it seems that they have been dating for a while, not much is known about his relationship with Faith Tang. Even more, they shared a selfie at the 2019 Specialty Equipment Market Association meeting on Facebook. Watchers of Gold Rush will have to catch up on new episodes of the show as they broadcast in order to stay up to date on Faith Tang, since she doesn't seem to have any social media presence at all. Faith Tang has developed into an important part of Beat's mining team and often shows up on the reality show to provide assistance when needed. She appears online in a photo uploaded to Monica Beat's Instagram account. Is Faith Tang going to be married soon and become a Beat's family member? It seems that they get along well. It hasn't been determined whether or not to make a lovely special episode that features the two getting married. He was given his birth name, Kevin Beats, on June 10, 1988. Kevin Beats will therefore be 34 years old in 2023. He disguises himself as popular television figure Kevin Beats, a gold miner. When Kevin joined the reality series Gold Rush in its fifth season, he made his television debut. He was employed by the Beats Group at their claim in Paradise Hill. For example, he tried to disassemble and fix the Clear Creek Beat Bacon Strip plant and the Eureka Creek claim. He proceeded to appear in several appearances. He is among the series stars as well. Kevin's professional career included working with the Beats crew for a considerable amount of time as his father's assistant. Three of their siblings are employed in the mining industry these days. This was his first significant setback of 2011. They had him take care of the Eureka campsite for over three years. He worked there till 2013 before he went aboard his first dredge. He calls himself Master and enjoys operating large machines. Along with being a skilled fabricator, welder, and mechanic, he also enjoys cooking, diving, and playing music. Kevin, the youngest of the three, is 33 years old and oversees a sizable crew of miners. He has all the resources necessary to make things interesting and vibrant, including his leadership abilities and bachelor's degree in computer science. Instead, he would teach the miners the most recent dredging techniques, increasing the group's total output. Kevin Beats is expected to have a $2 million net worth by 2023. Kevin Beats, a famous TV personality and gold miner. Kevin Beats has accumulated a substantial financial wealth during his career. Kevin, Tony's son, claims to have been a gold miner for 16 years on his Facebook profile. He appeared in a Discovery Channel series with Tony with his mother Minnie, sisters Monica and Bianca, and brother Mike. When Kevin leaves the claim in 2023, Paradise Hill will miss him since the Beat family has their own mining company. Kevin Beats, a nine-year veteran of the Gold Rush, uses video chat to inform his father that he and his fiancé are thinking about taking a year off from mining. Kevin and Faith Tang said that they would want to dedicate some time to gardening and home repair. Tony expressed his contempt for the news in the first episode of season 14, referring to it as a shit excuse. Minnie and Tony were unhappy with Kevin and Faith's decision to tell them about their son. Tony clarified that he will have to hire new employees while Kevin is abroad. Things change. Sometimes we have no choice, Minnie said. Kevin's decision was quite obvious. The two agreed, 
and they would have to make it work. Tony spoke about how he recruits his daughter Monica to assist in running the business and how he wants to maintain mind management within the family in subsequent episodes of Gold Rush.